and beautiful. Look, guys, I did this myself. What is this? Good morning, guys. Good morning, Milano. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. We have been vlogging for at least a week every single day, which feels a bit... It's good. I woke up very late today. Very late for my standards is 11 a.m. I do believe that's anyway very late and that's because I'm jet lagged. It's 5 a.m. in Miami and I was like thinking, okay, let me set an alarm for like, I don't know, like 8 a.m., 7 a.m., like not too early, not too late, but kind of early enough so that I can stay awake for the whole day and late enough so that I can catch some sleep. But then I thought, you know what? I don't actually need to leave my house today. I don't need to do anything today. So I mean, I do need to do something today. I, need, I have to do work, but it's all from home and it's all on my computer. So I was thinking, why would I torture myself and set an alarm instead of getting that one night of sleep that I can? Because tomorrow I will have to get up earlier. Tomorrow I will set an alarm for, again, not too early. I will set an alarm for 8 a.m. But the day after I have to get up at 4 a.m again so i'll be very back soon onto this time zone no problem so it's like let me just sleep that one night and you know like try and get as much sleep as i can but yeah i woke up late i need to have sorry for the yawn i really want to have my first morning coffee now normally i love to make myself a real espresso in an illy coffee machine that's how i usually used to make my coffee and then when my best friend came last month she gifted me an espresso machine which excites me so much because i can have gourmet coffee if i feel like it for example i can have caramel or vanilla eclair espresso which sounds very good for this morning so let's go and make a coffee outfit of the morning not the best but i just wanted to stay warm so i got on these cashmere very unflattering but very warm pants they're huge they are i will link everything that i mentioned below they're very very cozy very homey last winter i was also like really freezing i was sleeping in them basically it was like pajamas i had a full set but they're very unflattering so i think i'm gonna change from this However, I have a really, really nice sweater. This is my favorite sweater at the moment, like favorite that I own. I love it so much. I will link it below. I think you guys love it too. It's gorgeous. I have my Boston slippers. These are with the shirling inside, Birkenstock. I showed them to you in uh, Black Friday. I love them so much. I think they are incredible. I'm gonna change into these off-white pants. I love these. They're a bit more flattering. Wait, I like to feel good at home, you know? I like to feel like I put effort, even if it's leisure wear maybe i need to do a leisure wear haul and i feel a bit snatched in these like i mean i think this is way better who can agree i look like these look like they're pants but it's tracksuit you know what i mean one other thing let's fold these and put them right back where i found them so i'm not making any mess and now i think i'm gonna put some oil from Kiara stars on my hair i just washed it yesterday and then i fell asleep put it half wet so i might style it today i cut my hair recently it's again a blunt cut at the bottom i don't know if you can see that but i'm thinking of cutting it even more like this short what do you guys think decisions okay remember how i told you that i have these gourmet coffees we have this one which is vanilla eclair we have this one which is caramel creme brulee we have these pierre Hermé ones which are it just says black so it's a no for now and i have the starbucks christmas coffee and i have this which is i just think it says vienna lungo it's a no so i'm gonna have i had the vanilla eclair yesterday oh wait a second i also have this this is the nougat right yeah Hmm, let's go for this. This is a coffee machine that I've used for years. You've seen it like for two, three years now in my Christmases. You basically put the coffee here. There we go. And then you just do a coffee. But I really don't have any like Christmassy syrup or stuff to use with it. So I'm gonna make the other one. My few feel-good moments, I love this Chanel lip balm. It's literally one of my favorites and my Chanel hand cream. We'll link them below if you guys want to see them. I also think they're a gorgeous, gorgeous, like a Christmas gift. Like, for example, this one looks quite old, but yeah, it's amazing and this as well they're always in my bag my coffee my computer and in my agenda i'm gonna light one of the candles guys this coffee is so good if any of you have like good 
like what I'm trying to find is is it possible to find like a chai in an espresso like chai flavor in an espresso capsule it doesn't have to be by an espresso it can be by whatever but I just want to find something like quite Christmassy if you have a recommendation do let me know please your girl needs it okay now let's tackle we're sending out a newsletter so I need to have a look a new blog post I need to make an order of few things that I need do some TikTok edits and yeah we're gonna get going but first things first I'm gonna write my to-do list also because we're coming close to the end of the year I actually want to start already organizing everything that I want to organize before the end of the year so I like to clear my computer I like to clear some of the pictures on my phone I like to organize as much as I can of everything else like all of those things that are bothering me at the back of my brain I need to start doing them now because I don't want to leave them to the last week of December the last week of December I want to make the piercings they always like keep moving like the inside piercings you know it's so hard having so many and not to play with them it's very frustrating anyway though I do want to maybe get another piercing that's another story. So the point is, I actually there are like three more piercings that I would want to get, but they're not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm like having so many like unnecessary digressions. So the point is that the last week of December, I would like to keep for goal setting and figuring out what are my priorities for 2023. That's really how I would like to spend the last week of December, which means that everything else has to be done and closed up by the last week of December. So wish me good luck. A few other things that I wanted to show you, I have my pen section. These are the ones that Stefan bought me at Smiggle. I love them so much. Then I have some highlighters for important highlight bits and bobs, right? In the middle are normal pens and here we have all sorts of different stickers for my agenda. Sticky notes and things like that, right? So I need this when I'm doing some major planning. Until then, first thing I do when I get to my computer or like my workstation as well, after I've made coffee, right? And after I lit candle for a bit of atmosphere, one of my favorites, I always try to link my favorite candles below as well, so you guys can check them out, because I really love candles as much as I do. A bit of atmosphere is important. First thing on my to-do list is going to be to search for that lighter, you guys, because I really, really need a good lighter. So I have a few things on my setup. We have this one that says, we cannot become what we want by remaining where we are. If I cook oats in oat milk, is that cannibalism? I don't know. In order to make sure that oats do not feel uncomfortable, I'll cook in the almond milk. Done. I don't know how much I need, I'll have to see as it cooks. It'll take a while for this to boil anyway. I'm gonna add some coconut flakes in my porridge mix. I love coconut. I would put coconut in everything, you guys. And I want some nuts. Let's see what kind of nuts we have. And I want an apple as well, and I want cinnamon. Do I have cinnamon? I think I have cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cannella macinata. You know, whatever. I want these nuts, but I wanna break them. I need like a hammer. You know, like the hammer for meat. That would be ideal, but I of course do not have that. So I'm just going to use a jar. Sorry, I hope this is not gonna make horrible noise. Wait, I'll come back. These used to be whole nuts. Now they're like, you see, I made them like tiny because I wanna put them in my mixture, in my oatmeal. Okay, something's cooking. We need to mix with a wooden spoon because last time I cooked, my boyfriend told me that wooden spoon is for this, not metal. So I even got a wooden spoon. Okay, I need to put the fire a little bit down like this. Okay, why is it red? Berries. Let's add nuts. We're gonna add... Not all of them, because the rest I will add on top, so like some, that's it, wow, it looks already yummy, look at this, yummy, 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 I'm gonna add a bit more milk because I do like when oats are a little bit more like juicy. Okay, now I want to cut an apple, I'm pretty sure I have an apple, let's find it. So. Someone told me that it's not okay, I don't have a chopping board and look at this, I got one. Are you proud? I'll link this one below, I think it's really gorgeous. I have another one actually. I have this one over here, this one is for bread, so I keep it under the toaster. It's like a chopping board and a knife underneath, really, really pretty, right? 
Can you see? It's like marble top. Now, you guys know this because I'm sure you watched my vlogmases before. I'm just not really like someone that cooks for several different reasons. One of them is that I have no patience for cooking. I think it requires a lot of patience. Like some people, they love to cook because they are like, I don't even know how to cut an apple. Great, great skills. But I have other skills in life, you know? They just don't involve domestic stuff. So, you know, it, I, I also believe that if you're really good at something and not so good at other things, focus on what you're good at. What do you guys think? Do you believe in the same philosophy as me? Also, my dad strongly believes that you should not eat fruit skins. He's strongly convinced that that's not a good thing, right? So I'm just gonna chop it off as well. But first, I think, do we need more apples? Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna... Cut only the heart, the middle of the thing, without wasting product, because I hate, I don't like, I don't like the word hate, but I don't like to waste food. I'm very, very sensitive about that. I wasn't always like that, I have to be honest, but as I grew up, I am like that now. Wait, let's see where I can put this so you guys can actually see me, I'm not talking, you're not talking to an apple. I mean, this is just great, wait. So, what I wanted to say, I, as I, as we grow, right, we become different. I just don't like to throw any, like, things, I like to repurpose everything i like to be more mindful about the waste in general i wouldn't say that my personal i'm very honest now that my personal uh, main reason for this is sustainability it should be a big 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 reason but my main reason is guilt i feel really guilty to throw away food knowing that someone would love to eat it you know what i mean so I always try to be mindful about that. And same goes with, with clothes. Like someone asked me in my Balenciaga video, so good to hear that you will throw away all of your Balenciaga things. And I was like, I never said that. I would never throw away or burn clothes. That's very unsustainable, but also because there's someone that needs clothes for sure out there. Or I don't know, like, you know, I, I spent a lot of money on many of the things and I just find it like very wasteful to be getting things because they're trendy and then to throw them away once they're not trendy anymore and then things like that in the same way. I just think like for me personally, not wearing it is my kind of plan like I've said, but I think throwing away stuff is just really, I don't like that approach in general. Now, apples are cut. I'm gonna throw it in my porridge bowl. Let's get a cute one. We got one with a whale. I think it's called balena in Italian, I think, or something like that. I try to learn my animal names with these little pots. It might not look that great to you, but it's not done yet, hold on. Okay, so we're gonna put apples on top. This is half an apple. Some more nut mix. Okay, we like that, plus cinnamon. That's my very late breakfast. I've tried it. I have to say it would be way better if it wasn't for the berry flavor, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, it's good. Like I said, it would be better without the berry flavor, but the cinnamon apple nuts, they do help. I ticked off three things on my to-do list. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. I also wanted to tell you my th one thing. A friend of mine is running a marathon. Let's find it. Because I just saw it. In 12 weeks time, it's a Brighton Half Marathon. And he is fundraising for Alzheimer's Society, which is, of course, very dear to him. So I wanted to say, I will leave a link in the description box below in case you would like to donate and in case it's also a cause dear to you because he's currently at 30%, 31% of fundraising complete. He still has 12 weeks to go and he's running the half marathon. He will donate the money to Alzheimer's Society. I think that's really nice. So yeah, wanted to give him a little shout out. Now we're going to eat. Gonna try to take off a few more things from to-do list and then we can enjoy a bit. I honestly have to tell you that I don't remember my skin being this bad in a pretty long time. But then I'm not surprised because just think about it. I had like four flights in four days. Two of them were 10 hour each. And yeah, it's just a lot of stuff basically. So I'm gonna start by giving my skin some TLC. First of all, I'm gonna do a face mask. This is the one that is by my friend Annie Jeffrey. It's Nourish 3, Clarifying Brighton Face Mask. I need this. Um, should I keep up my hair? And then, you only need to keep this mask on for two minutes. If you keep it longer, well, my skin at least, it goes kind of crazy red because it's really amazing, like an acid feel. Last time when my best friend was here, I kept it for a bit longer. And then when I took it off, I was so red. 
And she was like, what happened to you? <laughs> but actually, it's really good because afterwards you really get the glow, you know? I think it has like zinc as well. Let's see. So it's a 7% blend of 5 HAs, BHAs. Glycolic is salicylic, which will calm down this spot here. Yeah. I put the eye patches from 111 skin because I want to protect that area around the eye from all of it. It has vitamin C stabilized, mandelic as a lic acid, you know, all the good stuff. Zinc, yeah, I was right. I can smell zinc and sulfur. Kaolin, which will basically extract a bit as well, especially on my nose. Let's put a lot on my nose, okay? And T-zone. So that's that. I literally will keep this for two minutes, okay? I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a light purplish color. Then I'm gonna apply a hydrating mask. And then tomorrow night, I'm gonna just apply, before I go to bed, this Tata Harper Retinoid Nutrition Face Oil. This is so good, you guys. I love it so much. Then my skin will be restored. Also, how much do you guys love my bath, bro? Probably not, but I love it very much because Xenia gifted it to me for my birthday and I just love it so much because it reminds me, she told me, that it should always remind me of how important it is to have some kind of me time and to focus on yourself, especially when you feel like a lot is going on like right now so that reminds me of that okay guys next up while i am holding up my other cream on the face i actually wanted to show you what i need to do well first of all this corner is all temporary like there's so many changes going to be in this corner of my house that at the moment we have like a ton of books on the floor and that's also because we don't have a coffee table but i think i've shown you that our coffee table materials have arrived yesterday so this is this and then we also have some couch materials because there's going to be another seating area so we have two shades and we opted for this one already so this is the couch that we're gonna have this is the color and the material going to be the thing is though now we have a christmas tree this is also driving me crazy by the way but i can't deal with that right now i need to sort out this corner of all of these books i need to see what i've read what i want to give to other people what i need to kind of like organize somehow else and then also in this corner something that you guys always ask me about we have my beloved diptyque candle this is my favorite of all diptyque candles this is the amber one i love it so much and we also have these ginori sticks so every now and then you need to turn this around right so that it smells i love the smell it's like cold stone and i just love this uh, scent diffuser so this is it now and let's organize that i was actually going to organize it all while putting you on like sort of um like a speedy video that you see me organize it but then i wanted to talk you through some of the books Oh, this is not a book. This was the invitation. Wait, I believe this one was for the Virgil's last show in Miami. Or the one after. The one after, actually. Wait, look at this. This is so creative. It's a woodpecker, right? The bird that, like, kind of knocks on the wood. In Serbian, we call it that leech. In English, it's a woodpecker. So now, I have a lot of things like, what is this? Stranger Calls. I got this book from Prada. It's a little booklet then i love this i'm gonna start this from the first of january i keep seeing that every year for probably like five years now but it's a little book that you start on first of january it's called q a we have january 1st and then you put like 2023 for example 2024 and you can always see different missions what is your mission can people change what are you reading right now the best part of today and then you can compare you in five years i think that's really really cool if i can find where you can buy it i will link it below then i have a lot of things i got this book from a serbian author as you can see because uh she mentioned me in this book i've read it already then we have i suppose this is Filippos, Giacomo Leopardi, so I will put it on the side. A Journey to Positano from Le Sirenus. I'll put it with Italian. Oh my god, this is going to need a lot of vacuuming, right? It's okay. Okay, I bought this book also for Filippo. He should read it, The Magic of Belgrade, by one of the most famous Serbian authors. There's a lot, basically, but of all the books that I can see here, I'm trying to see what I would really, really recommend you to read right now, if you can. There's a lot of them that I've already spoken about a lot, but okay, let's try. Number one, How to Change Cathy McMillan. This is really, really good. I love that it talks... Well, 
it's very well loved as well. It talks about just in generally changing certain things or not changing certain things about you in order to get to the goal. Of course, you guys know I love all the secret books. This one I haven't actually read. It's brand new. I am going to read it though before the end of the year. I think that will be a good kind of motivational one before 2023. This I love so much, but it's not about like self-improvement. I love the most self-improvement books, but this is just anecdotes. It's like love is always partly a misunderstanding. Love itself is the worst misunderstanding of all. Love, a gold-like intoxication, the wine which God gives us to make us greet him on the road. Life is a riddle and we're always being asked to guess an answer at the wrong moment. Boys, like postage stamp, you must lick them first if you want them to be of use. I mean, it's just anecdotes by my favorite writer in the whole entire world. Glennon Doyle, genius, untamed, brilliant. This was a recommendation by Xenia because she told me that I am, oh my god, I found so many random Polaroids of me and Filippo in there. Anyway, I love this book so much. It's quite entertaining and an easy read, but really shocking. It's where I also found out how different girls and boys are when it comes to decision making and also like fitting in into the groups as well as pleasing others. It's very annoying when we always put other people in front of ourselves when it comes to kind of being people pleasers. And the last recommendation, Amy, Otto, Anna, love it love 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 it it's shocking it's interesting it's not what i expected at all from anna and i really really enjoyed this a lot okay i know i said that was the last but this is the last the mountain is you this is a book which talks about limitations there's one more actually that i wanted to show you but i can't seem to find it now hopefully i will throw out the vlogma so that you guys can jump on it too all right Guys, I'm back here. A few things that I wanted to show you, right? As you can obviously see today, I look a bit of like a slob. And that is because I didn't want to do any makeup. I didn't want to style my hair. I wanted to air dry it to give it like all the nourishment as I did not need to go anywhere today. But yes, I need to film. One of my favorite YouTubers, Jules Aker, I think, she calls them potato days like days you stay at home look like potato and you do admin where do i start so first things that i haven't shown you well there are three things that i need to show you that i got recently before my mommy trip thing number one that if i was to go out today it would actually go really well with my outfit but i think i thought this was going to be a bit bigger because my yeah you see i thought it was going to be this size and this is kind of in between so one of my favorite bags, forever favorite bags, is this Jody Bottega bag. And I just love how big it is, you know? It's so casual, fits everything, my agenda and stuff. But this one, I really love the size, but it's a bit smaller. But I think actually it's a perfect size, especially now like with coats and stuff like that. I think it's really, really gorgeous. I love this kind of like suede vibe for this time of the year. I will link it below, I just got it. I haven't even removed the paper or the top of it so i really like it and it comes in a few different colors i got it before miami and i was like you know what i really like it when i unpacked it i ordered two uh, colors this and i think the gray one no no, no. this and beige and my boyfriend was like keep this one so i listened for once love this bag still also too i just don't really tend to wear this color as much now that i have a birkin in this color i guess but i'll put it a bit lower on my shelves so that i do grab it okay then I got two other things. I got a knit from Saint Laurent. So we have this knit. That's the second thing that I got. The knit is from Saint Laurent. I love it so much because I'm actually going to mountains. To the mountains in, I don't know, like five days? No, more. A week. Something like that. And do I love it? I love it. I think it's so cute. I remember years ago I was on this press trip with La Mer and I went with Caro. We were like having lunch and she had this gorgeous Ralph Lauren net. And it was a bit like Christmassy but cool like this. This one's from Saint Laurent. There's only one thing that bothers me a little bit is can you see that it has a bit of more hair but it's okay because it doesn't actually leave that much hair so i really like it it's a mix i will link it below as well for you guys to shop it in case you want to get it i'm gonna try it on i'm so cold actually today i just preheat the oven now because i'm going to i feel like comfort food as well i'm gonna make a pizza for myself and i have to tell you i don't normally like to brag about especially not about cooking right we all know that but i do make the best pizza my best friend can confirm and my boyfriend can confirm they prefer when i make it than when we eat pizza out anyway third thing that i got i really love these pants so much they are Brunello Cucinelli. I will link them below as well. Wait, I need to try these on, otherwise you cannot imagine. There's one thing that I'm sure you all know about me right now. 
or and well by now is that I love kind of like paper bag trousers these are not like fully paper baggy but they do have that sort of vibe okay I got a size 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 40 Italian so 36 French because I'm 36 French this is the waist the color the print really 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 love them and i was like well i have so many trousers do i need to keep them and my boyfriend was like you absolutely need to keep them because these pants what i love about them is i can wear them now right when it's like cold outside but come summer i can also wear them and that's like a true you know i think that's quite important so i really like that is there anything else that i haven't shown you in my wardrobe i don't think so or at least not that i know of but these now I want to stay in them because they're so cozy even though they're like trousers we should remove the tags like the thing is I forget sometimes to remove the tags right of the clothes that I have and annoyingly I then wear clothes or want to wear it and it's still with tags that's not okay but yeah all of these three items I got on Louis de Aroma before my trip to Miami and I really really love them I can't wait to wear them tomorrow I'm gonna be a little bit out and about so tomorrow I'll be a bit more presentable but right now all I want to do is make that pizza finish editing those TikToks because that's the only thing left on my to-do list that I haven't done and watch it's basically been like yes I've done some admin work but I just want to be cozy and enjoy the day at home you know it's that kind of day but don't blame me you know still jet lag stuff I can still blame it on jet lag I think I only like to take that jet lag excuse for like a day I don't like to be jet lagged I don't allow myself to be jet lagged that's a better way of putting it so anyway so what's your favorite of the three things that I got let me know I have a lot of things right in my wardrobe we all know that it's not a secret but I somehow feel like for mountains I don't really know what I'm gonna wear I don't have those warm 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 pieces so I need to work on that a little bit. We'll fix it soon. I promise. Anyway, let's go check if my oven is preheated. Okay, so earlier I was actually vlogging here and I'm pretty sure that everything was out, in, out of focus. And then I was spending a lot of time to understand how can I make the focus better for you guys in the videos because it's very important, very, very important to me that I do my best possible. But yeah, sometimes it's just very annoyingly not working. Oven almost done. Now putting my finalizing <laughs> touches. I also add some truffle and truffle oil and margarita. So that is good. Well, I like that. Lipo doesn't like that. My best friend and I love that. When she was here, that's what we were doing basically. And it was so good. I want to eat dinner now and then I don't want to even snack after because I need to battle the jet lag diet, you know? If I late, I'll sleep longer. My body will still think it's jet lag. That's annoying, you know? So tomorrow I'm getting my nails done. We need to go around to figure out some things. Probably in the morning. I think that'll be the best. I need to go to the office. I need to see what kind of packages I received. And then I, in the evening, I have an event to go to. I might even get my hair done, but no, I don't want to. I'm trying not to do much with my hair. I might just like braid it tonight and wake up in the morning or something like that. And then I have an event at night. I think it's like a dinner event. Hopefully not gonna stay too long just because the day after, as you guys know, I have to get up at four. Let me check what time is my flight. We're going to London. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, okay? 10 minutes and let's have that pizza. Alright guys, my pizza is ready! And Xenia has called me! You're gonna be part of my vlogmas. I need to take my pizza out of the oven. You know what's the worst? I don't even have like the, you know the big gloves? Yeah. I... Are you gonna, do, are you gonna use your Chanel cardigan to put it on? Of course I'm gonna use my Chanel cardigan. What else did you think? But just because, but just because the Hermes one is in the wash. <laughs> that's what I meant of course classic wow this pizza looks great I have like a stick mm, do you want to see the pizza Xenia is buying um, inserts for agenda can you check the line it's called the line it's very chic and beautiful look guys I did this myself what is this it's a yeah are you shook oh my god I'm this, so this is mozzarella and then, you know what else I have? Guys, you're gonna not believe it. Look at this. Where are, wow, where are you even? Truffle oil at my house. You've been here? Cool. Guys, truffle oil. 
Wait, Would, wait. I'm alone. Guys, and then I'm cutting pizza Filippo method. So guys, now pizza with truffle oil and mozzarella. My biggest sin, Coca-Cola Zero, best friend on FaceTime. And we're ordering inserts for agenda. I'm sorry, I know this has been the boringest vlog ever. This is how I'm bringing you back to charge. I literally am so sleepy, I don't know why. Well, it's that kind of afternoon in Miami, so I'm, you know. But I didn't really vlog much today or even what I vlogged was not that interesting. But please, please, please do understand that it was one of those in-between admin days that I just had to bring my life back to the order. Tomorrow is going to be a bit more fun. We're going out and about. I am going to go to the agency. I'm getting my nails done, probably going to an event at night. So day was just like an in-between annoying day. I hope you're going to have a good night. We're going to go watch something. I just finished my FaceTime with Xenia and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.